This is 2018 Amy 2 problem number 14 and here is a view of this problem. The in circle omega of triangle ABC is given and we are also told that it is tangent to side BC at the point X. I will further go ahead and uh, label the other two tangents as uh, say uh, M and N. Okay, uh, let Y be the intersection of AX and the uh, in circle again, and you can clearly see it here on this picture. And finally, uh, we draw the tangent at point Y to the in circle omega, and we let it intersect a the sides AB and AC at points P and Q respectively, as you can clearly see it here. Once we are done with this construction, we are told that AP measures 3, so this is 3, PB is 4, so this whole section is 4, AC, side AC is 8, and we would like to calculate AQ, um, which if you want to call it as X, we are told X can be written as M over N. Okay, um, so I would like to provide two different proofs to this problem. The first proof is um, the official solution actually, and it is basically just purely uh, synthetic. Um, we will use uh, some, well, when I say synthetic, uh, non-projective uh, non solution. We will use a little bit of trigonometry, law of signs, and that should do it. But first we need to exploit the symmetry involved in this picture. And uh, it's um, actually not that bad. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and label the, uh, do a little bit of angle chasing here to begin with. Uh, so you just realize that, for example, uh, this angle it, by uh, vertical angles, it's equal to this one. And when uh, you uh, exploit um, symmetry, you would realize that this angle must be equal to this angle. And the reason is clear uh, because the uh, supplementary angle, namely this one, uh, is equivalent to this angle over here because they both subtend um, the same arc. Actually, you could have come up with the same argument for uh, the other angles as well. So therefore, um, we have just established that uh, all these angles, namely, uh, let's write that down, angle uh, AYP is equal to angle uh, QYX which is equal to angle YXC. And I will just label all these as, um, say, um, say beta. And finally, notice that uh, angle PAY, I will just uh, express it uh, PAY. So for that, PAY, uh, I'll label it as alpha. But you can also express, so this angle here is alpha, and uh, but this is the same thing as BAX, angle BAX. So we have angle alpha here, we, have, we know these angles are both beta, and now let's uh, go ahead and use, uh, um, make some calculations basically. Uh, for instance, if you consider the ratio AM to AP, so we have AM, to AP, you can split AM as AP plus PM to AP, and uh, this is simply equal to 1 plus PM over uh, AP, but PM is equivalent to PY by equal tangents, so this is just PY over AP, and now we can go ahead and use law of sine on triangle APY. So PY is opposite angle A, alpha, so that's just sine of angle alpha, and AP is opposite angle beta here. You can clearly see it here, so sine angle beta. By a similar way, uh, we can also have a look at uh, the ratio, um, say, AM to a, B, let's go ahead and do that one as well. A, M to A, B is simply equal to, like we did in the previous question, let's come up with another way, alternative way to express A, M in terms of A, B minus B, M. A, B minus B, M. 
divided by AB. And again, when you split this fraction, you get AB minus, so AB over AB is 1, minus BM over AB. But BM by equal tangents is equal to BX, right? So BX over uh, AB. Um, and now again, we can use law of sine. This time I will use law of sine on triangle ABX. Does that make sense? So we have 1 minus BX is opposite angle alpha. So that's just sine alpha over. And uh, AB is opposite this angle here, 180 minus beta. But sine of 180 minus beta is just sine of beta. And now this is perfect. We can go ahead and add these two expressions. Uh, well, as you can clearly see, the right-hand side here, uh, these two portions will just add up to 2 versus the left-hand side. So therefore, huh, so when you're adding these, we get that 2 is equal to AM. Actually, we can uh, AM over, well, let's do it in two steps, I guess, plus AM over AB. And you can indeed factor out the AM. Uh, and we will get a 1 over AP, but AP is just 3. So 1 over 3 plus 1 over um, AB, which is uh, 7, right? 3 plus 4 is 7. 1 over 7. Uh, from here, we can uh, calculate AM. Uh, I think it comes out as... Um, yeah, let's just do it quickly. So we have uh, 2 equals AM times... Uh, what 10 over 27 10 over tw 21 I should say so this would be and then the 10 and the 2 would just simplify so we would have 21 over 5 for am so am is equal to 21 over 5 that's really cool now so if am is equal to 21 over 5 by equal tangents that's also equal to an so let's make note of that as well now let's go ahead and uh, apply this uh, trick one more time. This time huh, we are interested in, uh, let's use a black marker I guess, we are interested in uh, applying law of sine on triangle AQY and ACX, right, those triangles. Again, let's uh, chase a little bit of angles. I'll keep this one as, uh, as phi and let's call this one as theta. By vertical, oh, well, actually, okay, so we already investigated this. So this is theta, this is theta, right, vertical angles. But then this angle theta, which is a circular angle, subtends uh, arc YMX, but that arc is also subtended by another tangent here. So this angle uh, theta here, so we can just call this as theta. Does that make sense? Which is happens to be 180 minus beta, but that's okay. Um, so that's theta. And now let's go ahead and use the same trick one more time. So let's just move my uh, page a little bit here. So therefore, let's have a look at, uh, let's start with the ratio AN to AQ first. AN to AQ is simply equal to AN. I can just uh, express it as AQ plus QN. So therefore, I would have AQ plus QN divided by aq and now we can split the fraction plus qn over aq but qn is just qy right by equal tangents qy over aq now let's apply law of sine on that little triangle aqy and that would be one plus qy qy is just opposite angle phi so this is sine phi over and aq is opposite angle theta so this is uh, i can divide it by sine theta here in a similar way, we can also calculate AN over AC, which is just, again, AN it can be expressed as AC minus CN, AC minus CN over AC, split the fraction, 1 minus CN over AC, but CN is just, by equal tangents, it's equal to CX, so CX over AC, and that's equal to, again, applying law of sine, this time on triangle AX. C, uh, we just realized that CX is opposite angle phi, so this is just sine of angle phi, divided by AC. AC is just opposite angle uh, beta, which is one, uh, 180 minus theta, but sine 180 minus theta is simply equal to sine theta. Now, when you add these two e expressions, obviously on the right-hand side, uh, the, these two will just cancel out because they are opposite signs. So you'll get a 2 on the right-hand side. So therefore, like we did previously, 2 is equal to AN over AQ plus 
uh, an over ac and indeed i can factor out the an um, and that's just one over aq plus one over ac uh, well, we don't want to confuse with that too here uh, but now we already established an was uh, 21 over 5 so let's uh, write that down here. So therefore, huh, so this implies 2 is equal to 21 over 5 times uh, 1 over aq. That's exactly what we need to find actually. Uh, plus 1 over ac. But ac is given to be 8 in the problem. And clearly you can uh, solve it easily for aq. And aq from this expression comes out as uh, 168 uh, over uh, 59. And uh, that solves uh, our problem, obviously. 168 plus 59, finally, because the question is asking for the sum of the numerator and the denominator. It comes out as 227. So that was uh, a um, non-projective solution. In the next video, I will provide a projective solution.